Hello everyone, it's Grumpy Gamer. Uh, this tutorial on how to use toggle latches. They're very handy, very easy to use, but uh, it's got a, several practical applications here. I'm going to show you a couple. One is to open and close doors. So if you can see there's pressure plates on the ground as I walk through here, they open and then they close behind me. Uh, works in either direction. Now that one right there, the way this works is the sticky pistons back behind reinforced glass. But let me actually come down here and I have a elevator door here too. And this opens and closes the elevator doors. And there's a button on either side and both buttons do the same thing. They're actually connected to the same block. So anyway, here's the elevator. Now I have another video showing how the elevator works. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested. But basically you got up button and down button at all the way up to the top. There's an up and down button there too. So if I push the down button, you can see the elevator coming down. A little bit glitchy. That's just their frame. It's doing it with what's called frame motors, but it's part of the. I believe it's part of the Red Power 2 mod also, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and push up, and now you see it going back up. But anyway, this video is all about the toggle latch. It's right here in front of me. That's it right there. But basically what it does, it takes a, a pulse and uses its chain states of the output. So there's one input, that's it right here. It's connected to this button. Every time I push this button, these things change state. So as you, as you can see, the side on the left is turned on now. Side on the right's off. Now the side of the left's off and the right side is on. And so the reason it's called a toggle latch is because the output's toggle, first of all, but it's called a latch because you're given a momentary signal. You push the button and the wire is only energized for a moment, so that's why this is actually called a momentary switch. Technically, that's what it's called in the real world, but um, a toggle latch will latch and remember that momentary state, so when you push the button, uh, it cycles now. The output here is tied to um, the pistons on the top right here. You can see the wire going across. If I can get in there, yeah, there you go. You can see the wires going across the pistons, and the wire also goes straight down and powers the pistons from below too. Now I went ahead and put this light here. It's just temporary. I actually dropped it out of the hall, but this is just to show you that this thing can be used for light switches too. So every time I hit the button, the light toggles from off to on. So these push buttons, they look a lot more elegant than the levers. So if you kind of want your stuff to look better, I like the push button better. And that's just pretty cool. Alternately, you can use a pressure plate, whatever. Like if somebody steps in the hallway and you want the lights to come on, that's actually pretty cool. A hallway, just put a couple pressure plates on either end and it will toggle the lights off and on as people come and go out of the hallway. But anyway, that right there is the toggle latch. Let me show you uh, another cool thing here. I'm using my screwdriver. I can change the orientation of it. The screwdriver is actually part of the Red Power 2 mod. So for some reason, uh, if you can't get, you can't place it the direction you want, you can just place it haphazardly, and then you can use the screwdriver to change the orientation to whatever you want. But that is my tutorial on how to make toggle latches. Well actually I didn't show you how to make toggle latches. Really no need to. Uh, uh, just look it up in the recipe book. It's called the toggle latch. Uh, there's the recipe. Stone wafers in the corner, lever in the middle, wire on the side, cathodes on the top and the bottom. Uh, and you can click on whatever you want to find out a recipe for that. Like this is redstone torch and stone wafer. Uh, you can click on that and it will tell you whatever. So I don't need to go in detail on how to craft it. Uh, you just need to know how to use it, but that's how you use it. It's pretty straightforward. There's probably other applications. In fact, if you can think of another application, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But anyway, it's Grumpy Gamer. We'll see you next time.